Okay, and here's my Game Boy Color games. Yeah, they're yeah. I, I have five. I ha I have five. Cent. How much? It's not much there. Anyways, seriously though, the two games at the bottom you can play on Game Boy Pocket. It just I think there's some features you don't get. Oh no, I think Pimple does require color, but I know Trading Card. It works 100% on Game Boy Pocket. Other than obviously it doesn't support the infrared for trading stuff. You needed the infrared to trade cards, I think, with other players and a certain link up mode or something. But you could still do other stuff with the serial. Uh, cable? I, I don't remember. Anyways, the other, the three at the top, and I think Pinball as well requires a Game Boy Color. So anyways, we'll go through them real quick here. Okay, here's the game Cats. I do have the box for this one. It's basically a little pet simulator. I, I guess it's like an early version of Nin Cats or Nin Dogs or whatever it was called. Nintendo Dogs, whatever. Nintendo Cats. And it's got like a little meter. This person is not doing a very good job taking care of the cat. As you can see, uh, you know, uh, the cat is very tired. The cat isn't loved very much. You know, the cat hasn't been groomed much. But, you know, it's it's very healthy. It's, you know, it's fed. It's kind of suffering, you know. Sick fox who took this image. Anyways, there's the description. All oh, the fun of owning a cat without needing kitty litter. Well, actually, that's true. There's no shit in this game. Okay, cat. So, yeah, this is actually a very good little simulation game. I actually liked it, like, as a kid, obviously. And... My sister would play it a lot, because, you know, fucking cats, right? I mean, who doesn't love cats? Who, who doesn't? Who, who doesn't? Hey, seriously, though, not much to say about that game, but it actually has a lot of features when it comes to taking care of the cat, little snacks and stuff. And it actually has a backup battery, and you can name the cat, it can go in the Hall of Fame. It's pretty cool, actually. So if you can get it for a good deal, it's, you might as well get it, just try if you like uh, little simulation games. Anyways, moving on to Donkey Kong Country. Well, this is literally a port of the Super Nintendo game onto the Game Boy Color. I think it's almost identical, so it's it's literally just a port of the Super Nintendo game Donkey Kong Country. Obviously, fucking awesome! Get it! Get it! You can afford it? Get it. Buy it. Play it. Buy it. Super Nintendo, on the go. Get it, get it, get it. Donkey Kong. Grand Theft Auto 2. Yeah, literally. This is the PlayStation game, Grand Theft Auto 2, on the Game Boy Color. Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, or where the hell it was called, was not the first Grand Theft Auto game in Nintendo game. This is literally a full-fledged port of the PlayStation game. It literally is, other than the graphics are highly toned down, and I think the mapping system is kind of shit, if I remember, but it is the full-blown game. You can kill people and shit. It's great. Fucking sabotage and murder, and it's terrible. Pretty T for teen kids. There's a reason for that. I'll just show you quick, in case you don't believe me. Oh, shit. We have a blur. Yeah, Rockstar Games on Game Boy Color. The music sucks. It just sucks. I can't skip it. Oh, please stop. Yeah, see, it's got the PlayStation thing. This is an official game, by the way. This isn't a bootleg or anything. This is an official, licensed Nintendo game. So you get a password, so you can continue music. Yeah, turn that shit off. Oh, God. Sound effects, new game. You can select a character. It's more like the original Grand Theft Auto when it comes to clearing. So we'll be Eddie because he looks like a pretty slick guy. You can't see him though because his camera sucks. Downtown! Zaibatsu, Yakuza, and Loonies! I like the Loonies because they're fucking crazy. So, you can turn left and right. You can walk with A. So that's kind of weird. You don't go... You go backwards by pressing down, but you go forward with A. So that's kind of weird. I think up allows you to enter a car. Now, this is not the starting point of the original Grand Theft Auto 2 game, but I think it has the full original map of the PlayStation game other than it's been custom-made for the Game Boy. So there's the traffic. Oh, come on. What the fuck? You just tried to punch me for no reason? Okay, recording again, because I forgot to re-record. Start the recording again once I got the camera focused. Guys, I'm sorry. I seriously can't get the focus. Anyways, you can jump in a vehicle. Music starts playing. I think it was up here. I saw the... Ro yeah. There's a fucking rocket launcher right around at the start of the game. But I don't think the tanks in this game, I can't remember in the this version, which kind of sucks, but... Oh, fuck an ice cream truck. Fuck the ice cream truck. Fuck that car. Oh, he blew his ass up. Oh, it turned into... It turned into a dead person? The car turned into a dead person. Ah, oh, shit. Got him. Got, are you serious? It only damaged the police vehicle. And they're not even after me. Head-on fucking collision. Head-on fucking collision. Are you fucking serious? Alright, next game. Pokemon Pinball. Um, Rumble Pack. Built in. Fuck yeah. It's 
put a AAA battery in there and it's like your own personal vibrator. I, I would, I'm just saying other people might use that for that. So you, just, you know, rumble, but you know, it's... Yeah, technically these are vibrators, okay? They got the same kind of motor that you'd see in those things and... It, 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 it's Pokemon Pinball. So this game is uh, actually pretty good. I mean, it's, it's just a pinball game with, with Pokemon in it. But, you know... Pinball games are fun. If you like pinball, you, you'll like this game. You don't even have to like Pokemon. It's good. Alright, Pokemon trading card game. For those who like trading card games or diehard Pokemon fan only. I love Pokemon, but I never really got into this because you got to really get into the trading card thing. And I, I, I like, there was a point where I really was into trading card games, but now I'm not. Just because, like, I don't know. It just, I, I never really got into it afterwards. It's just, trading card games are a lot of fun. I just, I don't know. If you like trading card games... This is basically a digital version of that. Or just a really, really, really diehard Pokemon fan. Definitely get this in your collection. It's Pokemon, but other than that, I mean, it's 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 trading card. It's just the Pokemon trading card game on a digital format. That's literally all it is. But it's a lot of fun when I was into it. And that's it for the Game Boy Color game. So, moving on to the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking beautiful! Game Boy Advance SP. Well, my sister gave this to me. She kept most of the games that she had on it, because when she got the DS, it was, well, backwards compatible. So I think the only games I got from her with it was Lady Sia. I don't think she gave me Kingdom Hearts throughout the bay yet. I think that was the only game. I, got every I had to get everything else myself. Right, there's a couple games here from my buddy. One of the Nobly, Mario Kart, and I think F-Zero as well, so thanks for that. That is from my buddy. Well, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if he cares if his real name is set online, but um, he is the host of the of HG Central, originally the Hyper Gingers. We used to do a little show together. Uh, we kind of split ways a bit ago, but uh, we're, nothing happened. We're good friends. Just uh, We kind of got out of it for a bit, and we kind of started on ways. So, um, Anyways, if you want to check his channel, go here. I recommend it, especially if you're a big racing fan. Anyways, on to the games. Starting with... Oh, I think this was one of the ones she gave me, too. Batman, Rise of Sinzu. Assuming that's how that's pronounced. It's okay. I, I never got really got into it. It's not bad, but definitely more for Batman fans. If you can get it for really cheap, try it out. Demon Driver. It's a top-down low racing game. Um, it's okay. I think you reload through a password, not actually a save file. The game's pretty good, but it's nothing special. If you can get it for a cheap, decent price. Get it. Otherwise, it's not not a big deal. Oh, and I do have the Demon Driver box, too. And there's the game there. This is in pre condition because, uh, this, I got, I think I got this at the store at the same time I got my, my Game Boy Micro. I, I got that with it so I could play it on the Micro on the way home. Driver 2 Advance, ported from the PlayStation. It's actually pretty fun. If you want a, a game where you just get into it and just have quick action, it's it's pretty decent. And it's got a small little story to go with it. It's not bad. If it's at a half decent price and not like too expensive, um, get it. I think you'll like it. Uh, it's a good one to have in your collection. Alright, next we got F-Zero GP Legend. This is one you need in your collection. This is a fantastic game. I mean, it's fucking F-Zero. It's basically the same kind of game. Same one you'd see on Super Nintendo, other than it's got a bunch of extra features. So this is definitely a must-have for the Game Boy Advance. If you see it, get it. You will have a load of fun with this one, and there's a sh crap ton of stuff to unlock, if I recall correctly. It's definitely one that's take a while to beat, and you won't want to put down. Okay, this is another one for my buddy I didn't mention. This is GT3 Advance Pro Concept Racing. Okay, so I'm going to make this quick. My camera's kind of broken. i got to buy another one, but... It's actually an amazing little game. The controls are kind of finicky, but when you get used to it, it's pretty good. I'm just revisiting right now because I just felt the clipboard did not... was just not good enough, I felt, so... I just want to play it because I was looking it up online, and it was like, how did I miss all this? This game has drifting. It's huge on drifting. There's 97 different licensed vehicles that you can unlock. It's kind of like Gran Turismo for Game Boy Advance. Uh, it says GT. Uh, let's just go to Quick Race here and go to Car Select. If we go back, actually, you can see cars collected, 37 and 97. I haven't unlocked them all, but like Daihatsu, Honda, 
all these fucking cars. Mazda. And of course they can all be tuned. As you can see. Now I'm playing this with one hand so I don't know how this is going to go. Oh, see that backfire? That was great. Well, I'm doing good for one hand right now. I'm using my fingers. Oh, never mind. Anyway, so yeah, if you see this game, even at like a fair price, get it because it's basically like a little Gran Turismo for the Game Boy Advance. This game is awesome. Tons of unlockable cars. Once you get used to controls, it's fairly good. Lots of drifting. And there's like literally 97 licensed vehicles in this one little game for the Game Boy Advance. That's awesome. And it's kind of 3D, so very cool. Okay, Kingdom Hearts, which I do have the box for. This is my sister's game. Play the show, this one. Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories. Pretty good game. I mean, it's fucking Kingdom Hearts, man. I mean, look at this shit. It's all that Disney action going on. Dude, it's like Disney for adults, bro. Like, dude, it's, I mean, fucking Aladdin. I mean, I mean, it's it, it, fucking the genie. I mean, the genie, you can, the genie's here. Never had a friend like me. Like, yeah, how could you not love the guy? How could you not want to play it just to see his goddamn Robin Williams? And, of course, this game shows off, oh, God, graphic glitch. Oh, hold on, the cartridge is pretty lonely. There we go, gave it a low blow. Yeah, <laughs> fucking work. This game also has an amazing FMV intro. Game Boy Advance could play, I think it's FMV. FMV Falls? I'm pretty sure it's FMV. You could actually buy, like, um... Is, this, is that graphical glitch going on there? Anyways, you could actually buy uh, Game Boy Advance cartridges that have, like, kids' TV episodes. Yeah, I think it crashed. Shit. Um, TV episodes on it, like, uh, you know... <clears throat> I think most notably, uh... Sonic X. You could get you could watch Sonic X on your Game Boy Advance if you really want to do a uh, puke. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I used to watch this shit. Puke, throw up. Cheesy as fuck. This thing would adjust. Okay, we're gonna start a new game here. Yeah, I wouldn't remember anyway. Fuck. Just so we can see the intro. See, it's, it's playing a video on Game Boy Advance. Isn't that fucking incredible? Spoiler alert, we have Lady Sia. Now, I don't remember much about this game. I just remember, I think it was fairly decent, actually. If you find it for cheap, pick it up. I think it was actually a pretty good game. But the last time I played it, which is, is when I first got the Game Boy Advance SP in my hand, which is probably about ten years ago. So, don't remember much, but, um, but I, I remember it was pretty good, if I recall correctly. Oh boy, we have ourselves here a pretty beat-up-ass copy. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Okay, here we go, folks. Another must-have for the Game Boy Advance. Why? It's fucking Mario Kart. This is an excellent, excellent little game. If you see it anywhere and do not have it yet and own a Game Boy Advance, please do yourself a favor and buy this game and play the shit out of it and waste your life away because you won't regret it. Okay, we got Need for Speed Underground for the Game Boy Advance. I thought this was actually a pretty good port. It's got the music from the original game on here. It plays. It's all three-dimensional, believe it or not. And I'm not r raving about the game just because it's three-dimensional, more the fact that it's actually a fun port. Like, a lot of the underground ports for the portable consoles I thought were kind of lousy, but this is the one Need for Speed port for portable consoles, or at least during this era. That was actually really good. You could fully customize the car, or at least visual-wise, just like you could in the game. It's got licensed cars in the game. It's got real music in the game. Like, well fucking done, EA. Like, holy shit. I mean, I remember seeing this game advertised on my Nintendo GameCube because the Underground on the Nintendo GameCube had a little trailer that advertised the Game Boy Advance version of this game. I always saw it and think, oh, that's fucking cool. But yeah, it literally, like, I'll show you. Now, the battery's sadly dead, so I lost all my cars and stuff that I originally had, but you know. For Game Boy Advance's P, pretty awesome. Mode 7. This is how the game starts, literally. I thought it was a hack or something, but this is just how the game is. I think you just press start. 
and then it starts up. It's a little delay when you press for some reason. It's got save files and everything. Uh, it's fucking incredible. Yes, 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 yes. Covering your ass and shit. I get it. Dude, a gun barn nuts in the parking lot. Come on. This was actually the trailer. This was actually the trailer. This is all Game Boy Advance graphical shit going on. See, fully customizable. It's so rice, but it's so great. Oh, we got the Ford Focus. Yeah, here's a, a good Ford Focus, Super Impreza. And then these are the cars you can unlock. It's actually a lot. Hey, there's my car! Ah, except that's the uh, 2 liter gas or non turbo. But it, my car is in the game, that's kind of cool. You can shift and everything too. Whoop. Yeah, pretty incredible. If you're a Need for Speed fan, this is definitely uh, worth picking up if you can get a good deal. And finally, my fucking childhood relive, ladies and gentlemen, on a portable console. Fucking Super Mario Bros. 3, also known as Super Mario Advance 4. Don't get confused. Basically, it's Super Mario Bros. 3, and it also comes with Mario Brothers. So that's pretty awesome. And here's the cartridge. Oh, this this also I bought when I got the Game Boy Micro as well. That was the other thing. Um, that's why I got the box. Dude, Super Mario 3, you can get it for Game Boy Advance. There's no reason you shouldn't. This is literally a perfect port. Like the identical port of, I guess it would be the Super Nintendo All-Stars version of the Super Mario Bros. 3. So it's a port of a port. But you can bring it with you in your pocket. Like, you can literally take Super Mario Bros. 3 with you. Why wouldn't you want this? I mean, when I grew up, I didn't actually have an N64 immediately. I had an, just a Nintendo. I still have it. I had in the one notable game, Super Mario Bros. 3. Holy shit, what a game. So the fact you can take it with you, don't pass it up. If you, if you don't have this for your Game Boy Advance and you do see it, you've got to pick it up. Or any other uh, Super Mario Brothers ports. Because, I mean, there's nothing better than being able to take a game like this with you. In your fucking pocket. So, that's it for the Game Boy Collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope that was a little insight for you. Uh, if you don't have much in your Game Boy Collection. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. For the next episode, we'll be talking about... Yes, the battery guzzling Sega Game Gear. And what do I mean by battery guzzling? Well, it's a pretty nice big unit, right? I mean, look at it the size of my hand, you know. Um, six AA batteries, folks. And they only go for about four to six hours, depending on batteries. And look at all the games I have for it. Next gaming episode, Sega Game Gear. Thanks for watching.